Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will learn the basics of orthographic projections and in this we are going to learn how many methods of orthographic projections are there and what are the differences between them. So let's get started. There are two methods of orthographic projections. First one is first angle projection method and the second is third angle projection method. So according to the first method, the given object is assumed to be placed in first quadrant and the various views of the object are created. What you should remember while using this method, while creating the views using first angle projection method, the front view is created above, the top view is created below the front view, whereas left hand side view is obtained on the right side of the front view and right hand side view is obtained on the left side of the front view now why we are saying this you will have clear understanding once we finish with this video so please watch it till the end while using the third angle projection method the given object is assumed to be placed in third quadrant and the various views of the object are created while using this method, you have to remember that front view is created below, top view is created above the front view, whereas left hand side view is obtained on the left side itself of the front view and right hand side view is obtained on the right side itself. Now, let us say we have horizontal plane like this, this is vertical plane and this is another plane we are considering which is AVP which is called as auxiliary vertical plane. Now this is our first quadrant above HP in front of VP and this is our auxiliary plane we are looking from this side. Let us say this is an object given to us. I have used different colors in order to make you understand the different views. So this is the object which is kept in the first quadrant so we are talking about first angle projection method first. If you are viewing this object from this side, then this is the front view we will obtain for the given object. While looking at it from the top, this is the top view which will be obtained. And while looking at it from the left hand side view, as you have to move towards the left of this origin, you have to move towards the left and you are looking from this side now for the side view this is the left hand side view which is obtained. Now this is regarding the first angle projection method as the object is kept in first quadrant. Now looking from the same side here we are talking about the third quadrant so this is HP below it we are talking about this is VP behind we are talking about and this is another auxiliary plane which is taken here. So there is an object which is kept below HP behind VP that is in third quadrant and you are looking from this side. So as you can see when you are viewing it from this side the object is behind VP so the plane comes first and then the object. The same is followed when you are looking from the top the plane comes first then the object. Similarly there should be an auxiliary plane which comes first before the object while viewing it. That's why the auxiliary plane is kept at this position and not like this at this end. Now if you are looking from this side then the projections will be obtained on this vertical plane and we will get the front view like this. When you are looking from the top so this will be the top view which will be obtained and this will be the left hand side view which is obtained on this auxiliary vertical plane. Now if I remove the object these are the views which are obtained for the same object kept in first quadrant and third quadrant that is first angle projection method is used in this one and third angle projection method is used in this one. Now let us try to understand our object when it is kept in first quadrant we are drawing it using first angle projection method then this is vertical plane on which we are getting our front view so this is our xy line that is intersection or the meeting line of horizontal and vertical plane so this is our 
vertical plane and we'll get the front view like this now we don't have this plane in our 2d so we have to rotate it so we rotate it and we have to cut it from here let us say we are cutting it from here and we are rotating it downwards after rotating it we know it is going to be shifted down like this so we can use the projections like this and we will obtain the top view now we also don't have this auxiliary vertical plane so we have to cut it from here and you have to unfold it like this you are folding it in such a way that this plane should not be overlapped with this vertical plane so it should be folded outside so after doing it you will get a auxiliary vertical plane on this side and using the projections from this front view and with a 45 degree line projections from top view as well you can create the side view so as said in the first slide itself you can see the left hand side view is drawn on the right of the front view let us check the third angle projection method now okay so we will get this front view and this is the xy line we are talking about so it is going to be below xy line so this is our first view that is front view now if you cut it from here and you have to fold it so you are going to fold it like this in clockwise direction 90 degree so it is going to be on the upper side of xy so here you will be having the top view which is created using the projections of front view now we don't have this auxiliary vertical plane so we are going to rotate it as well so cutting it from here rotating it in such a way that it is not going to be overlapped so it will be shifted like this and using the projectors from front view and top view as well you will complete the left hand side view as you can see here in this diagram also as mentioned in the first slide here left hand side view is drawn on left itself which is the case for third angle projection method now some important points which are to be remembered so let us compare both the methods side by side first thing side view is always drawn beside front view only so as you can see in first angle projection method and third angle projection method the side view is always drawn beside the front view here also and here also regarding side views so for first angle projection method left hand side view is drawn on the right so as you can see here left hand side view is there but it is drawn actually on the right of the front view similarly the right hand side view will be drawn on the left for third angle projection method left hand side view is drawn on left so as you can see here this is the third angle projection method left hand side view is drawn on the left of the front view itself so similarly the right hand side view will be drawn on right side of the front view then there are symbols which are used to indicate which method is used to draw the given orthographic projections so this is the symbol used for first angle projection method and this is the symbol used for third angle projection method hope you have enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching